So hi, everyone. My name is Richard Elberger. I'm a principal technologist with Amazon Web Services. Um, I'm here today to give you an update on what we're doing in the Vehicle to Cloud or V to C expert group. And so we'll just go ahead and get started here. Um, look, we went through a little bit of a soft reset uh, this year, um, just to kind of sit back and say, hey, what were we doing in previous years in the V2C expert group? Are we going the right way? Should we change something up? And actually what we did is we, we thought a little bit more about what we wanted to do, um, where we wanted to go, and what we needed to create in order to get there. And that's really what I'm going to go through in this deck today and some of the things that we're working on right now um, to get to that point at the end, where we want to be at the end of 2021. So really the goals of the V to C expert group is to first understand how, what is the vehicle? How should the cloud see the vehicle? How can we account for the vehicle and have secure communications with the vehicle between the vehicle and the cloud? And there's a lot of different perspectives of this, either if you're connecting directly through normal cellular networks or you're going through like um, multi-edge uh, communications or any of those other different paradigms, uh, enterprise communications and so forth. How do we actually account for identity? Um, between the vehicle and the cloud in all those particular cases. Um, we want to also give um, guidance and, on common sense cloud connectivity situations, right? So whether that's cellular or other kinds of radio mediums, just bring to the community, hey, these are the different ways that you can communicate and standard ways that you can actually get set up and get going with AGL. And then finally, what we want to do is really educate the community through, through those reference designs. Um, we do have one reference um, demo for V2C today, um, but I think there's a lot more that we can do in that area to educate the community and actually build a lot of artifacts around uh, V2C. So our goals for this year, because we want to be able to say, hey, not, hey we're just not doing V2C, is like we want to have measurable things on how we are actually getting to those points. Um, the first thing that we're actually going to do is, um, from a vehicle identity, pers identity perspective, is drop a design, what do we want to achieve um, from an AGL perspective for vehicle identity? And we want to be able to demonstrate that through a prototype. Right, And so what you'll see a little bit later on is that we're really at, on the early stages of that. So this is really a stretch goal. Um, another area where we were really lacking is besides just communicating to the cloud through the normal application protocols, like whether it's MQTTS or um, HTTPS, what, what is the messaging that we should be helping our uh, community work with um, between the vehicle and the cloud. So when I talk, I'll show you some examples of that later on. And then finally, um, we wanted to get some reference designs going. So we do have a telematics demo that is part of the V2C group, but it's really not um, where we want to be from for demonstrating AGL in really production level type situations. So let's take a look at that. Um, so we're looking at uh, the key initiatives is, um, that we're gonna go through now is vehicle identity, what are we doing there? Um, messaging standards, which is just getting started again because of the soft reset this year. Um, reference designs that we're working on. So we have multiple companies working on those and, um, and trying to see where we can do more around these application protocol demos, which is, like I said, we just really have one right now. All right, so in terms of vehicle identity, this um, the graphic that you see here, thank you very much from, um, for the folks from ICAS to put this together. Um, we're, vehicle identity was started a couple of years ago. Um, there was a kind of a demo that happened around that, um, but it was really more cloud focused and what we want to do is take a step back and say hey what do we need to do from a vehicle perspective in that, in order to um, give implementers the ability to easily Im implement um, the idea of identity and 
be able to situate that in cloud applications. So what I mean by that is we need to give them the data constructs and also build in the ideas of, hey, we can you can actually take this and plug and play into your solution as a production grade um, level implementation for your applications, right? So when we do that, we need to also take into account all the regulatory aspects of um, the vehicle domain. So this is one of the things that we're working on right now. We're looking for additional participants in this particular area of the V2C expert group. Um, so the next is the messaging standards. Really, what there's a few that we're focusing on right now. Um, the one I'm really focusing on personally is the ATIS uh, messaging standard. The idea of what, what we want to be able to do here is that these messaging standards exist out in the industry right now. Uh, we should be or we should aspire to use these messaging standards as part of our applications so we can scale better when we're implementing vehicle applications. The one I'm focused on right now personally is ATIS. Um, there's a lot of movement around the vehicle signal, signaling standard from W3C. So that's on the radar as well. Um, but this work is really just starting right now. What we want to do is take these understandings and put them in the context of um, messaging dictionaries that we can reuse within AGL. We're not exactly sure how that's going to be implemented and delivered to the community yet. But first, what, we're, uh, what we need to do is the research to see what needs to be <laughs> implemented to serve, our custom, to serve the community. Um, the, the big thing that we're really working on right now that we know that we'll be able to deliver on by the end of this year and for CES 2022 um, are the reference designs. And this is really to uh, inspire people about what we can do with V to C. So the previous ones are really about the brass tacks um, foundational type uh, implementations that need to happen in order to achieve V to C. But this is more of the like to inspire people about, hey, what can we build with V2C um, type bindings between the vehicle and the cloud? Um, ICUS is putting together the first demo um, with this hardware. Um, so that's really exciting. This is, um, this is currently in development. The same with SandCloud. They're putting together a demo as well on the BeagleBone Black with their cape. And then finally, um, AWS is putting together their demo um, with the TI Jacinto J7 with 5G. Um, I will probably also take bring in the demo that I did for the AGL summit for um, that was last winter, that I did last winter. Uh, so probably bring those two in the cape, um, bring those two along, but I'm going to be focusing on the Jacinto J7 demo for the TCU design reference design here. If you want to participate in these, please uh, join the meeting. I'll tell you the meeting date a little bit later in the talk. And um, please join in in the development of these reference designs. It's going to be a lot of fun. So like I mentioned, we do have a meeting um, every two weeks. The next meeting is July 26th. Please join us, OK? We're looking for new members to participate, to collaborate. Um, to comment, to comment on our stuff, um, all of our design, all of our design work that's going on is happening in Collabora. So just log in with your LF account, and you can start collaborating with um, with us. And we're looking forward to you uh, joining us and participating. Um, we really also would like feedback on existing demonstrations and where you would like those to go, so we can start understanding the work that we need to do in order to serve the community better. Um, from the extra group, expert group perspective. So again, please just um, come in, collaborate with us and help build these artifacts so we can build up the V2C uh, artifacts for AGL. And Dan, that was um, short and sweet and I have three minutes to spare and I think that's about it for us. So thank you for letting me give you an update today and I'm looking forward to the next speaker. <laughs>